So I was trying to get that methodical, beautiful sound of the chopping of vegetables in a quiet background, and I just could not get that clip with all the kids in the background. Yeah, it just didn't work out. I got inspired by this channel I recently came across called Isabel Page, and her just imagery and her videos are so beautiful and inspiring. What she's doing with like growing all of her vegetables, not the off grid part, but like the growing all the plants that she's growing is totally our goals for the next five to seven years, which we've been like slowly making progress, but not quite as quick as she has. That's why I got that inspiration. Her channel is so beautiful. Anyways, um, let's get to this. It's just so funny how I have these like visions of what I wanna do with my video clips and just all the four kids just makes it like not happen the way you plan in your head and that's okay and that's still beautiful. So today I wanna to talk about habits that simplify your home, create healthy habits that are good for the earth, good for you, and also create a beautiful space to live in. I find so much joy and value in bringing nature into my home and creating habits for our family that is good for our health and also gentle on the earth. First one is to compost. I cannot stress this one enough. There are so many benefits to composting and so many ways to do it as well depending on your situation. It is beautiful and fulfilling to take your own veggie scraps and compost it to create nutrient dense compost which can go back into the soil and feed new plants for you to eat. It's one of the most sustainable actions that you can make and it creates new life with no waste involved. We personally like to dump our compost into a big pit um, on our land but for those of you who don't want to do that or live in a small space or just really don't have much of a garden space you can do the tumbler option and also for those of you who live in like an apartment or a place with like no yard there's indoor composting as an option um, which generally there's worm composting. We do worm composting as well and I have a whole video tutorial in like how to start a garden video that I have. I'll link below and we talk all about how to start a worm bin and add compost and like to create beautiful compost with like a worm bin which is so nutrient dense and really good for the plants. And then if you don't want to do that because indoor composting is definitely something that you would have to really consider the best space for your house or your apartment and use like a dark uh, clean space to be in. If you don't want to do that, there's also the option for donating your compost to a community garden, which has so many benefits to just making sure that your veggie scraps are not going to waste. Another benefit to composting is that by not putting your veggie scraps in the trash can with all the other waste that you have, um, you're not adding to like smell in a trash can. By keeping everything separate and clean that way, composting really shouldn't smell, especially if you're doing like outdoor composting and you're taking out your compost bin every couple days. There really should be no smell and it eliminates waste and smell in your trash can. Next is to make your home functional for your needs. I really like to have a space that's functional for my family life and my kids. So that means having things like a drawer in the kitchen that's low enough for all my kids to reach to be able to grab wooden and um, kids safe bowls and utensils to be able to get their own food and become self-sufficient. Any little thing that helps my kids to be encouraged to get their own food and do things for themselves is a big win for me. I also love to beautifully display all the books around our house so my kids are naturally drawn to pick up a book and read it. For me, this also means to put breakable items up high where my toddler can't reach them so I don't have to run around the house telling my child, don't touch this, don't touch that. I love for my kids to be able to just easily play with whatever they can like get their hands on. And this also means for me to leave fresh fruits and vegetables in abundance all over my counter so my kids are naturally drawn to grabbing them, picking up some fresh fruit, and going. And I really like to have beautiful displayed whole plant foods in bulk jars. That just helps everybody be excited about the foods they're about to eat and really just naturally be enticed to like beautiful foods. This could even mean some like healthy crackers in a mason jar and oats and all of our types of different grains and beans in mason jars so that we're all excited to cook with them. This next 
one is to wash your bed sheets and towels regularly. It can be easy to put it on the back burner, but washing regularly and consistently is so much more fresh and better for you too, not harboring bacteria and dust, etc. But I think it's helpful to also have a schedule so that you're sure to not like miss it and put it on the back burner like every Tuesday washing the bed sheets or replacing your pillowcase nightly before bed. And it's also really nice to have earth friendly towels that are super soft to go with it along with your routine. I actually just ordered some fresh new towels from Brooklinen because we've had our old ones for 12 years now and it was time for an upgrade. And I chose Brooklinen because high quality bed sheets and towels can be really expensive. Brooklinen gives you the quality and the luxury at an affordable price by cutting out the middleman. And because Brooklyn is partnering with me for today's video, you guys can get 15% off Brooklyn and products by using my link in the description. All right, so I purchased the Waffle Towel Move-In Bundle, which comes with four bath towels, two hand towels, four washcloths, and a bath mat. These towels have a large surface area and a unique weave texture, which quickly absorbs water and dries quickly because of the airflow, which is perfect for the climate that I'm in. Wow, they are so beautiful. All right, let's get these towels in my bathroom. Wow, these towels don't just feel great, but they look great too. And the bath mat is so soft. I love the way this all looks in my bathroom. Not recommend them enough they are the softest towels I've ever owned and they're just the right amount of thickness not too thin but not too thick to where they're gonna take forever to dry I am obsessed that's what I said next is something that kind of goes along with the first point of composting but it is different is to set aside the food scraps that go really well to make veggie broth and make your own veggie broth. This is something I have recently gotten inspired to do with my mom when she was visiting. She helped me get started on it and now we just cannot stop making our own veggie broth. Not only are we saving money by not having to purchase veggie broth, we're also saving waste by not having those cartons that would otherwise need to be recycled. Instead of putting all our fruits and vegetable scraps into one compost container, we separate them out now to separate the vegetables that go really well with veggie broth and use that to make veggie broth. And the rest of it goes in the other composting container. So that could be things like carrot tops, tomato tops, beet tops, um, and skins as well. Leftover celery that's going bad, leftover spinach that's going bad that you didn't have time to eat. Onion skins, garlic skins. You can even toss in some extra veggies in there that you just know will really enhance it. Add some herbs. And once you get a nice big pot, a nice big bowl to make your veggie broth, you're gonna put it in a large pot. And throughout the week, you can do this. And if it takes you a while to build up a good amount of veggie scraps, you can pop it into a sealed container and keep it in the fridge to preserve it. And then when you're ready, after the week, you put it in a large big pot and you add filtered water on top just to rise above the amount of veggie scraps that you have. Bring it to a boil and then once it's boiling and super hot, you turn it to a simmer and let it simmer for four hours. After it's finished, you strain it and save that liquid, discard all the veggie scraps and you can even put those veggie scraps into your compost bin and then you have that wonderful broth to use in your soups in all different types of dishes. And it's so wonderful, man. We have found so much value in doing that. It just adds another thing to that equation to create less waste and become more sustainable with your family. And if you make a lot of veggie broth, you can store them in in airtight containers and mason jars and freeze some, keep the rest in the fridge that you're gonna use throughout the week. And we'll make enough to feed our family for like two weeks at a time. Open windows and let in that natural light and air whenever it's possible for you. Air inside can get stale and stagnant and it's better for our health to get lots of natural airflow in our home. If you live in a place with lots of need for indoor heating or cooling, just keep in mind to pay attention to those days that don't really need it to shut it off and open those windows for even if it's just for a few hours to get that air flowing. And obviously this isn't gonna be as possible for many people who live in harsh winters or harsh, sum harsh summers, but but it's easy to get in a rut where you just never open your windows because you got used to that routine when there's some days that really don't need it and you could just open up those windows. 
also bring plants into your home and find ways to bring the outside world inside. Not only do they cozy up your home and bring nature into your house, they're also air purifiers. I love having plants inside. I just feel happier with all the greenery, real plants, not the fake ones, and I just really love to have them in my home. is to make your own house cleaner to not only save waste but also to have cleaner ingredients in your home. So many cleaning supplies are filled with ingredients that are not great for your family and you can use a simple method of just a few ingredients to create a really wonderful house cleaner that works really well for our family and is really cost effective as well. We do half part vinegar, half part water and then we add 8 to 10 drops of peppermint oil or tea tree oil. That's it. And then we like to use old rags to clean our house. Grow sprouts in your window and herbs on your front porch. Even if you don't have a big plot of land to grow tons and tons of veggies, that does not mean that you can't do anything. Every little bit of getting nourishing plant foods as close to the picking counts and not only is it more sustainable it's also really good for you too it's also really helpful for kids to learn how to grow foods even if it just means a little bit at a time teaching them the importance of soil health and growing foods is super super helpful making sprouts is super easy soak seeds for sprouting like broccoli clover or radish for four to eight hours then pour directly onto a sprouting tray and rinse them in the tray then spread the seeds out evenly and cover and let the water drain Twice a day for four to six days, spray thoroughly with water and let drain and cover. Then before you know it, they're ready. When you're ready to eat them, let them sit in the sunlight by a window for a few hours before storing in the fridge. The next one is to tidy up at night to wake up to a clean and organized house. I don't know about you, but when I wake up in the morning, I have all kinds of demands and the kids are asking me for things, they're asking for breakfast, I'm helping with Kofax waking up, and there's so much for me to do. So it's really refreshing and a clear way to start my day in my headspace to wake up to a clean house. Normally before dinner, but sometimes after dinner, I'll start picking up things around the house and have the kids help me pick up their toys. Sometimes I'll pick up the toys for them if they're busy doing something else, but for the most part, I really like to instill the habit within my children to pick up after themselves. It's it's just so nice to go to bed and wake up to like a fresh clean house. It's also really nice like once the kids are asleep to just be able to sit and relax and like feel that my home is organized. I'm just one of those people that loves an organized house. But during the day with all the things we got going on, I just let it get messy. Let it get really messy. Let the kids play with the pillows, although sometimes I tell them not to play with the pillows, <laughs> I'm gonna be honest, and just make a big mess. So that way the kids can just be kids. And then by the end of the day, we can pick up and start over the next day. Lastly, less is more. Declutter regularly and even better, don't take too many things into your home. It's so much easier to go throughout your day not having way too many things to pick up after and to organize and just constantly be cleaning up after things. And I also personally find a better, clearer headspace as well if my home is clean and doesn't have too many things in it. So I try to only bring things into our home that really add value for all of us. Have a box or a bag that you put things in throughout your months um, that no longer serve you rather than just making mental notes of what you don't want before you go ahead and take it somewhere to give away um, to either friends that might need what you're giving away or to Goodwill or the different places you can drop off and donate things. I just find it more helpful mentally to just take things that no longer serve us and put into a bag like in the closet. All right, that's it for my tips. I hope you find these useful and don't forget that you can get 15% off Brooklyn Linen products by using the link in my description and also don't forget to subscribe to my new YouTube channel the Ellen Fisher podcast the next podcast episode is dropping on Tuesday the 31st and it's gonna be such a good one I cannot wait for you guys to watch it or listen to it link below to get to that channel <laughs>